what truly matters is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is all that matters. Compared to everything else, compared to your doctrine, compared to your denomination, compared to your theology, Jesus Christ is the only thing that should matter. And you should never, ever pick your doctrine, your denomination, or your theology, your Bible translation, whatever it may be, over Jesus Christ himself. First, there was this trouble between me and Hugh. You and me? No, not you, Hugh. I am you. You and me? No, I am you. Stop saying that. Make him stop saying that. It's ludicrous to say there's two beings and a human. Tell me what Jew, what disciple didn't know that God created this flesh? Everybody knows that this flesh was created. Everybody knows that God, there is a God. Right? They split Jesus into two. Instead of having one Jesus, they have two Jesuses, and they try to put them together in this hypostatic disorder, hypostatic union, but I call it hypostatic disorder. Here's another passage in Mark chapter 13, verse 32, but no one knows the day or the hour, not even the angels in heaven, nor the sun, except the father so only the father knows now how did the flesh how did the flesh know what the angels knew how did the flesh know that only the father knew I can't hear you what, what, what what's that how did the flesh know what the son knew it doesn't say nor I it says nor the son how do you explain that? Now, let's read a few passages, two passages, and then we'll get into our final passage to demonstrate that Trinitarians make our Lord Jesus Christ into a liar. And that's very sad. They shouldn't be claiming to be Christians. They should be ashamed of themselves. In John chapter 3, verse 36, it's, it reads, Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. Whoever disobeys the Son will not see life. If you disobey the Son, you will not see life. But must endure God's wrath. You'll endure God's wrath if you disobey the Son. John chapter 12 verse 48. The one who rejects me does not receive the one who rejects me and does not receive my word has a judge. On the last day, the word that I have spoken will serve as a judge. So, when you read the words of Jesus and you don't believe in them, they're going to be your judge. They're going to be your judge. In John 17, verse 3, this is our Lord Jesus Christ speaking, and he says, and this is eternal life this is eternal life that they may know or that they may be knowing you speaking about the father the only true God the father is what the only true God and Jesus Christos whom you the only true God sent forth 
So did Jesus Christ lie here? I don't care who's speaking. Did he lie here? Even if it was the flesh, the puppet, as you claim, speaking, the question is, did he lie that the Father is the only true God? Now, just in case, for those of you who want to be very deceptive, you know, and think you're wise, and you say, oh, but you try to somehow try to argue that this is the man speaking. Really, in verse 5, let's read. And now, Father, you glorify me with your yourself with the glory which I had with you before the world was was the flesh and blood human being before the world was was the flesh and blood human being before the world was no so it's not the man speaking here is it so did Jesus Christ lie you see Trinitarians make Jesus Christ into a liar they say no 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 Jesus no 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 Jesus, you're true God too. 